I'm Zook from AngelSpit. This is a very basic introduction to analog sequencing. Most analog style sequences, including the soft synth sequences, use this method of operation. So this is basically how they all work. This analog style sequencer has control voltage and MIDI outputs. This one will sync to your computer via MIDI clock. You'll notice there are 16 knobs. Each knob can represent a 16th, so one line is a bar, or it can be an eighth or whatever length you want. It can go in a forward direction, a backward direction, a forward and backward direction, or a random direction. There are 16 steps, 16 knobs. Each knob controls the value for that step. The values could be a note value, a filter cutoff, or whatever. Each step also puts out a gate signal. This signal can be used to fire off an envelope generator. You can set up the knobs in such a way that they'll play a little tune or a bleep line or a drum line or something like that simply by twiddling the knobs. As you'll notice, there are three rows of knobs. Each row is like a track. The gate and control voltage signals from each track are plugged into our central patch bay. From here, we patch these into oscillators, filters, and whatever evil devices we need to corrupt youth. Okay, let's start by patching in an oscillator. I'll take the control voltage coming off the top row, or track 1, and patch it into the CV input of the oscillator. Now you can hear the oscillator playing the note values of the knobs. Now we'll patch in a filter. I can play around with the filter cutoff or the resonance. We've taken the gate output, as per the top row on the sequencer, and patched it into the gate in of the envelope generator. We'll then take the envelope generator output and use it to shape the filter. We'll also use this envelope output to change the volume of the actual line itself. Now we can patch in a second line and start really building the track up. This second line can be a, a tune played on an oscillator, or a, a cutoff filter, or whatever we want. Angel 